that was canceled. And that sucked because I would hope that how I try to carry myself now and how I try to continue to change and call myself out and be very self aware for the most part, I would think that would, I don't know, I don't know, but you know, I can't, it's not my place to ask or I don't know. It's, I don't really know what I'm trying to say. It is time for Thomas Halbert to grow the hell up. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. So I try to take videos about drama and things like that that you're watching in the YouTube community, bring them over here, and try to teach you mental and emotional health lessons. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, Thomas just came back and he posted his first video since his whole other video that I talked about with virtue signaling and talking about like white privilege and racism and it was just, uh, he ended up deleting that. A bunch of stuff went down on Twitter with Jeffree Star and all of that. But we're here to learn some lessons from good old Thomas, okay? So yeah, real quick, real quick. Like, it was really weird because Thomas kept saying a month, but it's only been two weeks. And it's really interesting too because I see a lot of parallels between Thomas Halbert and Tana Mojo. And Tana was doing that too. She was making like, she was saying like she hadn't been on social media in like a month and she hadn't been on social media in like five minutes. But anyways, I just found that interesting. So before I jump in to the tough love for all of you, as well as Thomas Halberg, I wanna talk about this clip right here. I struggle with an eating disorder, okay? And whether you wanna take that as a lie or not, whether you wanna take that as me trying to get sympathy points from people, that's fine. You can think that all you want but I struggle with an eating disorder and I was getting hundreds and hundreds of comments, not only on Twitter, but on Instagram, calling me obese and fat and unskinny. So yeah, in that clip, like, man, we live in just such a brutal time, a brutal, brutal time. Like sometimes I look at like my tough love and I'm just like, hey, am I being too rough on people? Am I being too hard? And I see stuff like this, I'm like, oh my God, like people are just awful. Like Thomas screwed up, Thomas is young, immature, possibly dumb, but like it is not cool to go after people in this way. Like I think I talked about it after Mac Miller passed away and the hate people were giving Ariana Grande and Pete Davidson, like to go after Thomas Halbert's eating disorder and purposely try to do that, that is just not cool. Like it, it absolutely sickens me and disgusts me and just, I don't know, the internet, the internet is this amazing thing that terrible people can use sometimes. So um, I'm sorry that Thomas had to go through that. If any of you have to go through that, I'm sorry, that sucks. You know, I try to post, um, you know, on my Instagram and things about like me just like, you know, talking crap back to like haters and people saying dumb stuff to me. But like, if if you're getting that kind of hate, like, you know, I, I that sucks, that sucks. But, you know, come join our support group uh, on Facebook. It's great, we'll talk, I'll tell you how dumb those other people are. All right, so let's get into the topic about how Thomas needs to un his adulting. So speaking of, boom, y'all know I'm doing a giveaway for this book. Thomas, if you watch this, I will send you a free copy of un your adulting, okay? All of you need to read this book. Like I'm sitting there and I'm gonna touch more on these topics in a second, but man, like people just need to grow up and this book has all of it, but I'm just gonna talk about some of my lessons that I've learned and talk about some of the things that Thomas discussed throughout this uh, comeback video. But if you wanna enter to get a free copy, go watch the video that I'm gonna link in the info card as well as down in the comments below. The giveaway is going until November 4th. Not only did I catch myself doing it, but my boyfriend at the time caught me doing it. Friends caught me doing it. And it wasn't a situation where, it was a situation where I had my boyfriend, like friends coming to me being like, Thomas, we don't like how you're acting. So I have been working on myself to become a better person for a month prior to any of this coming out. That's why I made that video. All right, so right there, right there, Thomas like, he, he seems really frazzled at the beginning of this video. I'll say that he gets a little bit more comfortable later on. But like, he's like talking about how like, by the time I recorded that video, I was working on myself for a month. Like, what? What? Like, this is one of the biggest issues that people have. And it's interesting too, because this is kind of what Fousey did too. Like, you cannot just be like this, this awful person 
and then think like in a month that you're like this enlightened human being. Like that's not how it works. That is not how it works at all. You need more time. I've made videos in the past about how actions speak louder than words. You don't have enough time to have these actions that show that you're a changed person. It wasn't fair of me and I was being a hypocrite at the time. I mean, I'm, I was being a hypocrite, period, you know, honestly, when it came to calling out other people for certain things, when it came to acting like I was better than certain influencers or I was the most woke or the most, you know, least scandalous and I'm the least snaky and stuff like that. Because I think, honestly, what it was, was me lying to myself, me kind of trying to make myself think that I'm a better person than I am. Like this right here, this is a perfect example of that old saying of like people living in glass houses should not throw stones, okay? It takes more time than that to change who you are as a person. But the thing is, some people are like, you know what? I've been screwed up in the past, so I'm good now. No, give it a minute. I agree with the people that are sending me hate saying that, oh, you're a hypocrite and stuff like that. Like I get that and I agree with that. Everyone makes mistakes were all human beings it just sucks that my mistakes were publicized but it's also like well you reap what you sow you kind of had that coming and i totally accept that and i agree with that this this clip right here is exactly what i was talking about with virtue signaling exactly what i was talking about okay this is why virtue signaling can get you into trouble because like what Thomas explained, and it's, it's funny because someone sent me a tweet. I forgot who it is, but I'm gonna have it up on the screen right here. I'm gonna make sure Zach puts it in. Anyways, Thomas like made a tweet about people accusing him of virtue signaling and then he deleted it. But what Thomas doesn't realize, I don't think, is that he's admitting to why he, how, why he was virtue signaling. And this is something that we all gotta recognize, right? Like when we throw this out there, when we put up this big old virtue signal, sometimes it's to make us feel better about ourselves, right? Like, for example, some of you might know Narcissist, and Katie Morton just did an awesome video about Narcissist. By the way, check out my buddy Ryan Liberty's channel. He has a bunch of video about narciss uh, Narcissist and Narcissistic Personality Disorder. But a lot of those people who puff up and try to act all holier than thou, it's because of their insecurities. And that's what Thomas is talking about. So Thomas doesn't realize that that's why he was doing it, but this is why some people are doing it, because they don't feel great on the inside, so they gotta project this image of themselves on the outside. And as you see with Thomas, it can backfire right in your face. So yeah, a few people like DM'd me on Twitter and they're like, hey, did you see Thomas' new video? I'm like, no. And some people were talking about how it seemed like you played the victim and all that, and like, I, I do agree. This entire video, he was double talking. He was double talking. He's like, it's not an excuse, but it is a justifiable excuse. Like he went back and forth on this like a dozen times. But anyways, in that clip right there, like he's talking about how people are like judging him for his past. They're judging him for his past. Like, let me make this very clear to all of you out there who try to get into that victim mode. Like, do you guys understand that you are watching a guy who was a drug addict and alcoholic for about a decade, okay? Like, not many drug addicts and alcoholics are good people. I was an awful person. I had to leave my son for a year. I stole money. I made my family, like, worry about me constantly, not knowing if I was gonna die. Like, I hurt every person in my life. So, why do you think it is? Why do you think it is that people aren't coming at me calling me a hypocrite when I do my uh, YouTube videos trying to give you advice on how to improve your mental and emotional well-being? It's because of exactly what I was telling Thomas at the beginning of this video. It takes more time. If I would have hopped onto YouTube after being sober for a month, like people would have called me a hypocrite, right? But. I've put in the legwork. I've put in the work to get where I am today. I've gone through all of these changes. So now what I say holds depth and weight. So Thomas mentioned someone uh, somewhere in his video that you know he had the right message, but the messenger was wrong. Exactly, exactly. So if you're somebody who's screwing up, remember like you are in no position no position to tell people how to be living their life, okay? Like, I'll never forget, I had a client who relapsed and he was getting drunk all over again and he calls me drunk from the bar and he's like really upset and I'm like, what's going on, man? And he's telling me that his friend won't get sober and he's really trying to help her get sober. I'm like, well, no crap, dude. You're getting drunk. Why would she listen to you? Same thing, Thomas. You are not a changed person yet, so do not try to give this message trying to tell people how to be better.
I'm 21 years old. I'm still a f***ing child, whether you like it or not, and I'm still learning and I'm still trying to grow as a human being. Oh, the good old child excuse. I'm just a little baby. Like, you guys, we need to stop this. We need to stop this. This is the Tana Mojo excuse. Like, you can't, you can't want all the celebrity, you can't want all the power, you can't want all these things, but just take all the good and leave all the bad. Like, we see people like Tana Mojo say this all the time, like, I'm just a human, I screw up. Like, that is such a cop out to screw up. Like, quit saying that, all right? Yeah, you're 21. Oh well, grow up, dude. I'm sorry to say it. Like there are many, many, many other people who have like moved out. Like one of my best friends got emancipated when she was 15 years old and started living on her own, okay? So when I hear these 21 year olds trying to use that excuse, I find it as complete BS. There's people watching this video, there's people like me who had to raise ourselves at a young age. So like, this is not a valid excuse and you just need, if you're a young person watching this, like get that out of your mouth. Just get it out of your brain, out of your mouth. Do not use this garbage excuse anymore, okay? You don't get to use it. What this month has told me is that being who I was before was just exhausting mentally and everything. It's just a draining person. So I wanted to end this video by showing that clip. Thomas is exactly right. It's exhausting. It's draining to live like that. Like you guys, like I, I can't explain to you enough. Like the reason I'm making this video, the reason I make all my videos, I used to be Thomas. I used to be Thomas, right? Like I used to be the guy who was seeking validation. I've admitted in other videos that I used to be a drama queen. I would always do this and it was for different reasons. And it wasn't until I started working on myself that I figured this stuff out, you know? And like, man, I was angry all the time. I was lying all the time. I was keeping secrets. I was sharing secrets. I was doing all that. And it's just exhausting, man. It's so exhausting being that kind of person. Like one of the reasons I'm a better person today, like it was hard, it was exhausting to try not to lie, to try not to stir up drama, to try not to do these things. That was exhausting, but my life is so peaceful today, I would do it a million, a million times over again, all right? So, you know, um, Thomas mentioned that he's working with a therapist and talking to them and kind of realizing some stuff, but only time will tell. Only time will tell. Um, again, I'm really glad that Thomas is, you know, getting help for his eating disorder. And he, like the second half of his video, if you wanna check it out, if any of you struggle with an eating disorder, like that to me is the most inspiring thing. And like, I, I think, I think in my opinion, Thomas could make more of an impact in the community and change his image, if you will, if he started making videos about his eating disorder recovery. Because if you think about the audience he has, he could really inspire a lot of people, a lot of people who are struggling with eating disorders, all right? So like that, that would be my suggestion to him. People would start seeing that his actions are speaking louder than words. As far as will he change, I don't know, man. I don't know. He brought up Gabriel Zamora in there. Like I haven't done a video on Gabriel yet, but Gabriel after his whole Manny thing, he's like, oh, I'm gonna change and I'm gonna quit being petty. Like the Snapchat that Thomas is referring to is like 20 minutes of Gabriel being nothing but petty. So I don't know. There's just so much drama in this beauty community. It's hard to know if these people are gonna change from just being you know involved and keeping an eye on it for the past few months like nobody's changing it's just it's just how they are but anyways hopefully thomas does change like that'd be cool and again thomas you watch this video copy of this book is yours but everybody else check down in the description below um as well as in the pinned comment i'm gonna link to the other video where i announced the giveaway is going on until november 4th and i'm giving away five five copies of this book on your adulting, all right? But anyways, anyways, let's have a conversation too down in the comments below. Are you somebody, are you somebody who uses your age in excuse, as an excuse? That's what I wanna hear. That's what I, I wanna hear. And why do you think that's a justifiable excuse to use, all right? Like, <laughs> it just, it just humors me. Anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You help me do something that I love, which is spread a message of hope when it comes to mental health. And if you would like to become a patron, you can click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. Unf*** your adulting, and I'll see you next time.